this is me, you, and welcome to another art challenge. Thank you for all your likes and comments in my previous video. And next Friday, I'm going to be doing something that many of you have been asking for for a long time. Stay tuned. Alright, today I'll be doing another redraw my old art to go along with this series, but today's will be different. I'm going to have a twist. So this is the art that I'll be redrawing this time. Wow, look at this. This is how I used to draw. This is from uh, 2001, and I think I was trying to create like some kind of moon goddess. She's an original character, and I called her Luna. And yeah, I like how I made her sitting on a crescent moon, and I gave her like a crown, and these pretty beads and jewelry in her hair, and then her dress design. I like the little crescent moon on her dress with the little wings coming out. And I kind of like how I drew the loose, soft-looking fabric in her dress and her long silver hair. But of course, I draw way differently now, so let's see how I'm going to redraw this character in two different ways. And she looks quite special. Uh, if you can, let me know in the comments if you notice anything particular about this drawing. Let me know. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to redraw her normal, but also blindfolded. So I have my scarf here, which I'm going to use as my blindfold, so I won't be able to see anything. And I'm not only going to redraw her blind, but also color her blind. I have my markers here, and I tried my best to memorize the order of the markers. However, if I do get the order mixed up, you guys gotta tell me in the comments. <laughs> okay. So let's see how this is going to uh, look like. I know you've enjoyed my previous blind drawing and thank you for laughing with me. You encouraged me. So here we go. <laughs> All right. So I'm getting really nervous now. Thank you so much for telling me in my video's comments that my art have helped you become artists, get into art schools, and that you've started making money on your art and commissions. I'm so happy for you, and I'm so proud of you. It's satisfying to hear about your successes. I'm really glad my art and videos are helping you. Keep up the good work. It is so very dark right now. <laughs> Okay. Good. All right, let's begin. I will redraw her from my memory now. Just trying to find the edge of the paper so I don't go off. And I'm going to take my best guess. So let's start with her face. Her beautiful, lovely goddess face. And I'll try to draw this small because I do want to get a lot of her nice, beautiful, flowing robes in there too. And she also has long, beautiful hair. Drawing the bangs right now, and I do remember she has a crown. So I need to get that in with the crescent moon. Back of her head. And okay, so let's go back to the face. I want her expression to be really like beautiful and serene. I'll give her these nice, pretty eyes, lovely eyelashes, and here's the eye on the other side. Okay. Her nose, let's draw it right there. I hope it's in the right place in the face. <laughs> and then her mouth, a nice pretty smile. Um... Oh yeah, she has jewels in her hair. I can't remember. I can't forget those. So let's draw some beautiful little jewels with another crescent moon inside. And I'm gonna leave the hair for now. I'll go into her body. She has a nice, pretty dress, and she'll be sitting on the crescent moon. So let's draw the nice. She's got nice long legs. Let's make them real long. 
graceful, dainty feet. Let's go up the leg. And let's see, her other. Okay, I don't know where I drew the leg now. Uh. <laughs> uh. Okay, I'm just gonna guess. My best guess. So let's draw her other leg here. Dainty little feet. And go up into the the thigh. So she's sitting on the crescent moon, so I'm not gonna draw the whole body. And I want to draw her outfit a little bit differently from the original. I know the original she had like fabric going over mo most of her legs, but because you know my my tastes have changed quite a lot. Um, my artistic tastes are a little bit different now, so I want to make the... I'm trying not to go, go outside the page, but I want to make the dress design a little bit differently. Maybe it kind of opens in the front and it fans out to the side. It's gonna look so... Oops. Ah! I ripped off the page! I can feel the edge of the paper! Okay, let's go back in. As I was saying, it's gonna look extremely beautiful and graceful. And she's got these nice little elegant ribbons I remember from my original, so I want to put those in. Little ribbons. And let's, see, let's draw one more there. I hope it's connecting to the rest of the dress. Okay. Oh yeah, and I don't think I drew her crescent moon in the chest with the little wings. So let's draw those. And then I think that is her bosom. So let's draw some little curves inside to show the flow and the curves of the body underneath the fabric. And okay, so now I'm trying to, I have this mental image of the original in my head. So I've done the head, the body, the dress, the legs, and the flowing beautiful fabric around the, uh, the legs. I haven't done the arms or the crescent moon. And I think I should do the crescent moon because her other arm was kind of like, she was holding it, right? So, I think I should draw the crescent moon first. Let's go all the way up. Where's, where's the top of my page? Oh, okay. Here. Let's draw a nice big crescent moon. I'll make it big because... I think I drew her kind of big, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know, you guys. How does this look like so far? Please let me know in the comments. So I think I should stop the moon there because her bum should be right around here and she's sitting on it So the and the robes will be covering the moon so I can't draw that anymore but the moon should come out on this side. Okay, so that's the... We did the moon! Yes! Now let's go into the arm. I don't know where her body is now. Let's take a... Let's take a wild guess. Let's draw this arm. It's gonna go around and it should be hiding behind the moon. She's holding it, so I hope the arm is attached to the body. We shall see. And the other arm, she is holding like um a little moon, I think. So let's draw. Let's see where. Okay, so her other. Let's draw her hand here. Okay, palm is up, a little pretty cute little moon above her palm, then the arm should go down and connect with the body. And oh yeah, her hair! Okay, so she had nice long hair. I don't know where I... I don't know where I... I last drew the hair, but let's draw. Mm. Okay, let's just make some more 
long hair. Hopefully it's behind her body and then it comes out from behind the moon. So let's say right around here. She's got really long hair. Nice and beautiful. Okay, good. So I think that is all that I needed to draw for the... Um, yeah, I think that's it. If I, if I remember something else, I always have my drawing pin here and I'll just put it right here so then I can reach for it easily. All right, so I'm gonna color her now, and I have my markers here, and um, I really hope that I get the order right. First should be my skin color, and I'm gonna use this to color her skin. Is it tip? Yes, that's the tip. I'm gonna color her beautiful, glowing skin with my peach marker. Here's the face. I'm leaving large areas uncolored in her face because those will be her eyes. That's her face. Okay. Now I'm going into the neck and then her chest. And then the arm that is wrapping around or going towards the moon. And then her hand just kind of disappears around the moon, so I don't have to color that. Okay, her other hand was extended out here. I really hope the coloring is kind of inside the lines. Is it? Let me know in the comments. This is really scary and also really fun at the same time. I can't wait to see how... How close? How close? Hopefully how close I am. <laughs> Alright, so I have the... Uh, the upper body colored, and then she has long legs, so let's get those long, beautiful legs in there. There we go, so there's one leg, and then the other one should be on this side. That's her foot, her dainty little feet. And then going up, that's her knee, and then, okay, good. So, the... So the skin is all colored. Try to put it back in the right place. Now I want to color her silver hair. So this should be my gray. I really hope it's gray, not like blue or anything, because then that'll be really weird. Where's the is this a brush tip? Okay, good. So that is the gray I have for the silver. Oh, this is the chisel tip. Ah. Oh wait, here. Okay. This should be the chisel too, right? Okay. That's fine. I thought it was it. Okay, so I have the um let's see here. I have the let's see. I'm trying really hard to remember where the head is. Let's say right around here should be the hair opening. She's got long bangs. And I'm going to color the bangs like that. She has these long flowing pieces on either side. And then the back of the head. So beautiful. So gorgeous. Okay, the moon should be right around here. And then I drew the rest of the hair flowing out into the back. So let's get that in. Good. So now the hair her beautiful silver hair is all done yes and then i don't think i need okay, so okay so now i think i'm going on to my uh first light blue color for the dress and i remember in my original um art i used pencil crowns for that and i didn't use too many different uh like blues for her dress i think at that time i wanted to have a really you know like uh serene beautiful flowing you know aerial kind of uh, feeling to the dress 
And I want that here too, but I do want to use a little bit more, um, like, like, more blues in her outfit. Because I like to build the colors up. So let's go, this should be my lightest blue. So I'm gonna go into her dress. I will leave some bits kind of white and uncolored for really nice, pretty shiny feeling for the dress. Um, so that's why I'm not gonna color everything in, but I will color most of the dress in with this light blue. And then what I'm gonna do is after that, take my darker blues and then just add on top of the, the blue uh, fabric. And I'm going to go in between the legs so not everything in the outfit is gonna be colored. Oops, I forgot the page. And I think that should be it for now for the light blue. Oh, her eyes! Okay, so. I don't know where her eyes are! Um, <laughs> middle of the page, I am i don't even know where that is. Let's just take my best guess. Okay, so here are her beautiful light blue eyes. I'll probably build on that later on. Okay, so now I need to put that back in this empty space. And then I'm going to use my darker blue. It's not dark. It's just a little bit darker, but not too much. Okay, so here's the brush tip. Good. And I think I'll use this for the crown. And there is a crescent moon in there, so I need to watch out for that. Don't color that in. Okay, a little bit of the darker blue shading in the eyes. So and then the rest, I need to go back into the dress and then just build on top. There, just lots of nice, gorgeous color blending in her dress. Put that back in here. How does it look so far? Let me know in the comments what you think. How many places did I get right? I hope it's a lot. <laughs> but I really don't know. I can't see anything. Okay, this should be my darker blue. It's like a turquoise blue, which is a really pretty color. I'm gonna use that to build in some of the darker shadows in the outfit. How does this look compared to my normal drawing? <laughs> I wonder. Okay, so I think all the blues are done. By the blues, I should have my yellows. I'm glad some of you are using my ebooks already. Thanks for all your ratings, reviews, and for your love and support. I'm continuing to make more ebooks for you who are serious in improving your art skills and creativity. The new group of ebooks will be coming out soon, and I think many of you will love them. If you haven't, download my ebooks for Apple and Kindle. The links are in the description. My ebooks are How to Draw Famous Characters as Humans and How to Draw Famous Characters as Mermaids. You can learn to reimagine them step by step. I also made Draw One Hand in 20 Poses. From my ebooks, you'll not only learn new drawing skills and techniques, but also ideas, inspiration, and my artist commentary. I hope these will help you create your own characters and OCs. Happy drawing. Let's get the, oh wait, what? Wait, what? Oh no, wait, wait, what? Where's my, where? Oh, here, okay. I thought I put Marcus in the wrong place. Oh, okay, good, so there's the right place. And then, so now this is supposed to be the darker yellow. Darker yellow, I'm just gonna use this to touch up a little bit of the uh, moon here and a little bit of the ribbons for some little dimension, but I don't want every I don't want things to be too dark in this piece. There. Okay, 
Okay, let's put this darker yellow back. And now comes the moon colors. So I have uh, this color. It's supposed to be the light moon color. And then I remember I drew it quite large. So let's go. It's a chisel tip, right? Okay, so. Color this really broadly here. I'm gonna follow this nice big circle. And then I think the ribbons and the legs are like right around here. So then I need to draw or I need to color the other tip of the moon coming out right there. Good. And for some little details, I think I want to um, build up a little bit of the volume in the moon with a slightly darker shade, just so that it doesn't look too flat. So here we go. Here's the darker buildup of color in the moon. And one last finishing touch before I take a look at my blindfolded masterpiece. I want to go back to my drawing and I just want to add little tiny little stars in the background. Some of you have been requesting for some time now that you'd like me to redraw your art. I'm thinking to try this as a video in the future. If you'd like a chance to have your art to be redrawn by me, in my style, please see my submission guidelines in the video description. If you agree to them, please post your art on Instagram with the hashtag MayYouRedrawMyArt. I'll try to do something in the future. This is supposed to be my light yellow. Let's get that in there just for the little twinkling stars in the night sky. I think I added some around here. Okay, good. So, the colors are all done. I'm gonna sign my name, and then I'm gonna see how this looks like. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so, let's see. I usually sign the corner, so... Go! Signing it off! Now it's time for the reveal! Oh my god. Okay, be wait, wait. Before I look at it, what do you think? Does it look pretty good? Uh, how many places did I do okay in? Let me know in the comments and also compare this to my old art and compare it to my normal redraw. Let me know what you think in the comments below and then let's see, I can't wait! The reveal is coming! <laughs> oh my god, it's so bright! Oh my god. What? <laughs> that her legs are looking okay they look like legs so I think that's pretty good and actually her nose even though it's like kind of like dropping off of the plane of her face the facial features are kind of in the general areas so I think I, it's not bad for being blindfolded and her eyes okay good so the pupils are not completely outside of their sockets and so it's pretty good and <laughs> The little neck and the, the arm is so off. And then you can't even see the other arm is like down here. Oh, this is her Christmas. It's supposed to be there. 
<laughs> like it's supposed to be here. Oh my god. <laughs> what? It looks. <laughs> She's not wearing anything. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I tried my best to put clothes on her, but she did not want to be wearing anything. <laughs> Just. I don't know, it's just, it's very questionable. But, oh, okay, look. How I drew the moon, it actually ended where it's supposed to be. So that's pretty good. That's the robe. That's her little, little robe thing. And then it started where it was supposed to start again. So I think that's pretty good. And in the middle, just a bunch of stuff that looks really weird. And, okay, so. Oh, I drew the moon pretty good here. <laughs> the rings and the, the moon is fine. And then the hand is pretty good. <laughs> oh my god, what? <laughs> Aww. Her jewels look like she's crying. Like these little beads of tears are just coming out. I think she's sad because she got drawn like this. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? That's the fun part of it. <laughs> So compare this with my redrawing of my old art normal. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> and um... Yep. Thank you for laughing along with me, you guys. <laughs> but not really. I really had a great time. And it was really fun doing this video for you. And yeah, I have something uh, special planned for next Friday. So thank you for watching. Uh, stay awesome, everyone, and I will see you in my next video next Friday. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>